Hello and welcome to the Dynamic CCTV technical video. Today we're going to take a quick look at the EasyViz Smart Chime, which is a wireless electronic chime for use with the EasyViz DB1 doorbell. Anybody who's familiar with the DB1 will know that existing mechanical chimes work with it. They're generally hardwired, more for existing legacy installations where a, a conventional doorbell's existed. The wireless electronic chimes are a lot more versatile, they can be located at a position within the premises where they can be easily heard and obviously alert the actual occupants that somebody's actually at the door. They're a 2.4 gig Wi-Fi device and they act basically as a middleman in between the router and the DB1, a hop as such, a wireless hop. And the wireless chime connects to the access point and the DB1 doorbell connects to the wireless chime. And that's basically how the, the unit functions. Connects to a conventional wall socket. It has an adjustable volume up to 72 decibels and 20 different available ringtones are available within the actual app once it's added to the EasyViz app. It can alert you when somebody rings the doorbell, but can also alert you when activity is detected within the actual field of view of the, of the onboard DB1 camera as well. The unit comes in a box like this. Other than the actual chime itself and the manual, it does come with a conventional transformer. Now this is not for the wireless chime, this is actually supplied to power the DB1 doorbell. So you've got mains in and you've got between 8 and 24 volt AC out. The DB1 generally needs between 9 and 24 volts AC, so you've got appropriate taps on the output there for that. It's a, it's a rail mounted transformer, so this one's to be ideally situ situated within a consumer unit or DB board out the way, so for health and safety reasons. So that comes with the chime as well. So what we'll do now is have a quick look at how you add it to the app, how you set it and link it to a DB1 and then obviously test it in operation. Okay, now I've now got my EasyViz app running on my mobile device and we're going to add the chime followed by the DB1 doorbell and link the two together. But before we start, it is important to make sure you've now got your mobile device connected to your Wi-Fi access point, the one that you wish to connect your EasyViz devices to, because it does use your Wi-Fi settings of your phone to pass over to the actual EasyViz devices. So the first thing we're going to do is add the, the Chime to our account. So if we click on Add Device and scan the QR code for our EasyViz Chime, like so, we can obviously just follow the setup procedure for adding the chime to the account and obviously as you can see there it is saying that the ideal position for this chime is in between the router and the db1 as we said earlier it does act as like a middleman between the two devices so ideally in between the two is the best situated area for it so if we click on next it's now asking if the indicator is flashing blue which it is so we're going to click next again again it's asking us to uh, ensure our devices are within a certain range of the the router this is my Wi-Fi settings, access point settings, so I'm going to click next there because that's all correct. It'll just complete the actual setup procedure here and add itself to my account. It does take a little bit of, of time to initially add. So once we've gone through this procedure here, then it will successfully add to the app. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Please wait. Wi-Fi connected. Platform registration successful. Okay, so we've now got the complete. Welcome to EasyViz. We've now got the chime successfully added to our app and we can see some of the initial settings there if we click on the next tab. So now it's asking us if we want to add a doorbell to our account and it's going to link at the top you can see a link to the actual chime, which is how we get the two talking together. Uh, so if I click on add doorbell and I'm gonna scan the QR code on my doorbell this time. Like so. And similar procedure, oh, and see if we just click next. We're going to link it to our EasyViz Smart Chime at the top. So we select that. Similar messages to, to what we got when we were adding the chime. So we just need to follow the same procedure as last time. So this is going to take us to the adding procedure. Connecting to Wi-Fi. So there we are, we've now got our doorbell added. You can hopefully see me there in the image. So I'm going to click on the next tab for this. And it takes you through some of the extra setup, the motion detection parameters, etc. of the actual doorbell. And there we can see that we're going to link it to our... We've only got the one chime added, so we're going to link it to the chime device. Connecting to Wi-Fi. 
Please wait. So it's now connecting itself to the to the chime's own access point as we speak. This goes back to what we said earlier about having the chime in the middle. I guess the DB DB1 connects to the chime, the chime connects to your router. So that's the device successfully linked. So we've now got both our DB1 and our chime. If I click on the DB1 and go into the settings tab and move down, you can see their Wi-Fi configuration is the chime device. If I go back to the actual chime and click on the settings tab, you can see that the Wi-Fi configuration is the Tech 24 access point, which is the dynamic CCTV Wi-Fi access point. So now we've got the two linked together, we're nearly there. We just need to turn on the doorbell alert button there. There is a human body detection alert, which allows the chime to alert if the camera picks up any activity in the image. That's an additional function, but that might obviously drive you up the wall. <laughs> but the doorbell alert will alert when anybody obviously presses the, the call button on the doorbell. So if we go into the settings tab of the chime, there is a sound option, and this is where we've got our volume setting at the bottom i think i'll can leave that where it is but that's adjustable and obviously you've got all of these different sound options which you can select whichever one you prefer it to alert you on and you've also got the top there doorbell or human detection tune or sound so when the doorbell's called you can select a sound that's different to when it detects a human in the image so we live on sound 5 i've got no idea what it is we're going to find out right now because we're now going to obviously demo the db1 call in the chime Okay, I'm now at the DB1 unit again, and I'm just going to demonstrate it with the chime. Before I do, I'm just going to turn off the outdoor bell sound on the DB1, which is the small sound that the DB1 itself makes when you press the call button. Obviously, that'll interfere with the chime's uh, soundings today. And if we press the initial call button, we can see exactly what sound 5 sounds like on the actual chime itself. I can obviously switch to different sound modes in the actual menu of the chime, so we can set want to know what sound 7 sounds like or sound 1 can also knock the volume up and go to sound 15 definitely the most annoying of the lot I would say um, but there you go just to give you an idea of how the chime works and obviously you've got plenty of different sounds there to choose from the unit can work in a, a radius of between three and four meters in situ or depending on how good your ears are but obviously if you choose sound 15 I'm sure you'll pick that up no matter where you are in the in the premises but yeah, a really good accessory for the DB1 doorbell, an alternative to the mechanical chime, which has a lot more flexibility in, in the way it works, and obviously it's wire-free as well. So for additional information on the EasyViz chime, uh, don't hesitate to give Dynamic CCTV a ring or your account manager for more information. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.